everyone. In today's video, we will be going over how to effectively backtest your trading strategy in TradingView. One of the best ways to test a new future strategy is by backtesting with TradingView. Backtesting allows you to test out new strategies and see if they are viable before you put any capital at risk. Let's start with why we should backtest. Backtesting essentially lets you replay history. You can test your trading strategies on past market data to determine their viability. While this doesn't guarantee future results, a thorough backtest can save you from pitfalls or help validate your trading intuition. TradingView offers an intuitive interface combined with powerful backtesting tools. Its free tier is enticing, but the paid plans offer comprehensive and valuable features to serious traders. There are five main steps to backtesting a futures trading strategy on TradingView. So let's say we're developing a scalping strategy for the S&P Mini. The strategy will initiate a long position if there's a draw in supply greater than anticipated and a short position if there's a build greater than anticipated. The first step is data collection. Before we start, we need to decide on the duration and the type of data. For short-term strategies on minute charts, a few weeks might suffice. For daily or weekly charts, years of data are preferable. In our example, we would look at minute chart data since it is a scalping strategy. The second part is strategy definition. We need to clearly define the rules. This includes entry and exit points, risk management parameters, stop loss and take profit levels. The strategy should be unambiguous, leaving no room for subjective interpretation. Number three is trading views rewind. We can use the rewind tool to return your chart to the desired starting point. This way you're not influenced by the knowledge of future price movements. Number four, simulate trades. We can move forward bar by bar or candle by candle. Every time your strategy's conditions are met, note down potential trades, entries, and exits. You'll want to test your strategies before putting real money to work. And for number five, we'll compile results. Tally the wins and losses. This will give you an overview of the potential of your strategy. Now let's take a look on how we can backtest on TradingView. There's two main ways that we can backtest. The first one is bar replay function, and that enables manual backtesting. And then option number two is PineScript. This is a scripting language unique to TradingView, allowing you to code your own strategies and then backtest them using the strategy tester. For manual backtesting with the bar replay function, all we need to do is open up a chart within TradingView. Here I have the S&P mini on a one minute bar chart. The next step is to click here on the bar replay tool, which will bring up an option menu on the bottom. At this point, we can manually click our starting point. So I'm just going to choose the open on February 8th at 9.30. And it will queue us up here for 9.30 on February 8th. This will be default uh, to 1x, which is one update per one second. I personally like to slow it down a little bit, so I click on 0.3x, and then we can click on play, and now it will start replaying that day on the one minute bars. The cool thing about this function is that we can utilize TradingView just as we normally would with trend lines, all the measurement tools that we have, um, moving the chart in and out, and so on. Um, and then the last step, obviously, is to manually test your trading strategy uh, with the sell and buy button here on the bottom. So we can see that replay and follow the market as it updates on this specified speed. To execute an order, all we would do is click on sell or buy. It will mark your entry. And you can notice here that we executed a one lot and it will give you your P&L. And then we can either sell, get out of the position, or we can also flatten with this button here. And it will give you a running total of your P&L and let you know kind of how you're doing. Um, and obviously you would want to document this on your own um, for any specific metrics that you're trying to look at. To exit the replay, we would just click on the X down here. 
and then that is done. There is another powerful tool in TradingView called the PineScript Editor, and it's something that I currently use on my charts. So I just wanted to show you how to access that. The PineScript Editor is very in-depth, so we'll just brush over it a little bit today and go over how to access it um, and how to add it to your charts. If you are not a PineScript coder, uh, you can actually access existing indicators and strategies through the community on TradingView. Uh, if you navigate to tradingview.com forward slash community and come down to scripts, it will give you a list of all the indicators, strategies, and libraries. Uh, you can refine your search by clicking on the drop down here and selecting the one that you want. For now, we'll go to indicators and I will upload one that I currently use and like. Uh, it's called Session Sweeps. So to access th this, we would just click on it and it will give you information about the indicator and how to use it and how to read it. Um, but to get the code, you would just come down here at the very bottom and copy all of this and then go back to your main chart and click here on Pine Editor. And if you're not starting fresh, um, you would just click Open, New Indicator, and paste everything here. And then Save. And it should auto-populate the name. So we'll save that. And then what you want to do is click on Add to Chart. So it's added it to the chart. But the cool thing here that you can do with the replay button is still have this indicator on your chart and click on replay. And we will find, um, let's just go here. And then for this one, uh, for demonstration purposes, I'm gonna speed it up a little bit. So I'll do a one minute bar chart um, on 10X. And what this indicator does is that it separates the trading sessions. Um, so we can see the London session, the New York AM, and it will identify the ranges of those sessions and um, just designate what the high and the low was for each session. I find it extremely useful when looking at ranges and um, determining whether or not price is gonna break back down into a range or extend. Um, but again, this is a great uh, indicator. Like I said, the Pine Editor is extremely in-depth. There are tons and tons of resources through the Community tab on TradingView, and you can just play around with it and go to certain indicators and strategies and upload them. You can actually add multiple strategies and indicators if you'd like. Um, like I said, you can use this in real time. Uh, and you can also use it for replay to uh, backtest any strategy that you might be doing. Lastly, let's take a look at tips for effective backtesting on TradingView. There are three main points here that I want to cover. The first one is account for slippage and commissions. Real life trading includes these costs. Ensure that your strategy is still profitable when these are taken into account. Number two is beware of overfitting. Overfitting happens when a strategy is too closely tailored to past data, which makes it less likely to be successful with new unseen data. It's always a good practice to split your data set into training for building your strategy and testing for validating it. The third is regularly review and update. Financial markets evolve. Regularly review and update your strategy to ensure it remains effective. That is all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any future questions, please visit us at OptimusFutures.com. Thank you.